This video is sponsored by Predator, provider of official IEM certified PCs, laptops and monitors. I was really scraping the bottom of the barrel for new video ideas. Then it came to me. How many barrels are there in CSGO? Finally, a new idea. I will confess, in a game as old and as well documented as CSGO is, it can be difficult to find an idea that hasn't been done before. But the number of barrels in every CSGO map has, to the best of my knowledge, only had one comprehensive guide so far, which was by Yui, who posted this incredible guide on the topic on the workshop the Christmas before last. But there's no harm in me double checking. But first, this video's sponsor, which is the IEM certified Acer Predator Helios 500 laptop. It features this impressive list of cutting edge specs and the high power limits and cooling capabilities to match. All you need to choose is which of its two 17 inch screens you'd like. The first is a super responsive 360 Hz panel. That's as many frames a second as the top of this barrel here has degrees. Obviously, this is the model best suited for highly competitive esports titles. Here's some footage of me getting shot in the back over and over again in CSGO's deathmatch mode. This is a situation where the Helios's i9-11980HK processor really gets to show off what it's capable of, having no problem driving the game at hundreds of frames a second thanks to its excellent single core performance. The other monitor the Helios 500 comes in is a mini-LED 4K 120Hz panel. This is all powered by the Helios 500's GeForce 3080 graphics card with 16GB of VRAM, which of course supports all of the latest features including ray tracing and DLSS. What this means for you is that, if you manage to find a barrel in the game that you're playing, this laptop's got what it takes to make it visually pop. No matter which screen you choose, with the Helios 500, you'll never be far from being able to boot up CSGO to view its lovely barrels. Check out this video's description for more details. Now before we can count the number of barrels in each level, to see which is best, we must first ask, what is a barrel? This is a barrel. This here is apparently an oil drum, which I think we can agree is also a barrel. What about this? Seriously, what is this? It's a sack of, and I quote Valve's own wording here, detritus. A sack of detritus in the shape of a barrel. It was disheartening for my analysis of CSGO's barrels to hit such a snag, and so early on. My heart tells me it is a barrel, because from a gameplay perspective it serves the same shape and purpose. But then so do these baskets, and they surely can't count as barrels. Or can they? No, they can't. And neither does this stack of tyres. So for the sake of this investigation, a barrel must be something you would look at in real life and say, that's a barrel, and not, this is a barrel shaped sack of detritus. But then, do these kegs count? Yes, kegs count because Wikipedia itself describes a keg as a small barrel. But then Wikipedia also describes this man as barrel chested, and he most certainly isn't a barrel. What a minefield this investigation is. But I think we've managed to narrow it down. Barrel, not a barrel. Barrel, not a barrel. Half a keg gets rounded down to zero, since it's now merely an improvised flower pot. Also not a barrel. Propane tanks don't count as barrels either, unless they're these. Okay, got it. With the brown rules established, let's begin. Dust 2. UE found 12 on this map, but he was using the old fashioned method of actually running about and seeking them out. I don't mean to brag, but I've got some pretty impressive barrel seeking tricks to aid me in my search. I can disable everything else on the map so that it's just a bunch of floating props. I can literally search the map file for props called barrel or drum. But these efforts, if anything, hampered me more than they helped because CSGO does sneaky things like to group a bunch of barrels together as one object, or to put barrel in the name twice, or to call it something misleading like oversized can or roly-poly metal log thingy. So I too fell back on the age-old strategy of floating about a map. I'd find the barrels, I'd count them, and then would delete them as I went. I then saved these maps to a debarreled folder. This stands for ddust2 decompile debarreled, in case you were wondering. I then ran a series of high-tech, sophisticated scans on the raw VMF file to ensure that no stray barrels were left rolling around anywhere. And lastly, I marked the map file as being done and delisted from further scans. So while UE conducted an old-fashioned search and found just 12, thanks to all my high-tech tricks, I found the actual number of barrels on this level to be 12. I then worked my way through the other official diffuse maps. What does Ancient and Vertigo have in common, apart from both being bad? They both have zero barrels. Coincidence? I think not. Ancient succeeded in having nothing that even closely resembled a barrel, in shape or in purpose. Crates, on the other hand. But Vertigo presented a more foreboding task. This, for instance. This is clearly meant to be a full set of barrels. 
but in Swiss roll format. But nobody in the real world would look at this and say, that's a four pack of barrels right there. So these don't count. But what about these? I'm not trying to trick you. They're not barrels, are they? They're cones. They don't even do a good job of blocking bullets, something that barrels are infamous for doing. But in Valve's own words, these are warning barrels. Let me tell you what I think is going on here. Valve expected this video to be made. They knew it was coming, so desperately rid their newer maps of anything barrel-esque. In an early version, this new map was full of them everywhere. And then the no barrel bar came into force and they swapped them all out for cones and Swiss rolls. Maybe they were all just feeling very hungry. But no, morally and ethically, I cannot call these cones barrels. It's against my principles. So it is with regret that I declare Ancient and Vertigo to be completely barrel free. And I must move on. Mirage was an easy one. If there's any further proof needed that it's the map most in need of a graphical remake, is that it actually runs well on everyone's computers. And also because it's the one map that didn't present a gargantuan challenge to find all of the barrels on. Mirage has five. It's easy. I can even show you all of them. Here, 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 and here. In case you're wondering, right now Yui has been on it with his counts. They have matched mine across the board, and it's been wonderful having somebody to walk this lonely road with. I feel I'm normally investigating topics that haven't been treaded before, but with this one I'm standing on the shoulders of a giant, a giant named Yui. But alas, this is where I must leave him behind. For as admirable a job as he's done, he simply cannot contend with the sheer muscle I have at my fingertips for this task. He's there running about and peeping at every cranny, while I'm soaring overhead a half-transparent map with barrel predator revision enabled. It gave me a weird sense of power that I haven't experienced since picking people up in Rollercoaster Tycoon. Yet even this bird's eye view failed me. Barrel blindness is a thing, and after the first two dozen or so barrels, I actually began to not see barrels that were right there in front of me anymore. Fortunately, it is very easy to select all of the same prop at the same time, and since every map only uses one or two barrel models, very soon I had a system in place to display the barrels and only the barrels in every map. So I didn't just get to see these barrels here, or this one over here, but also these two up here that nobody else has ever ever seen ever before, and the ones that Valve could easily remove to optimise their map further if they wanted to. How did they even get up here in the first place anyway? What are they doing up there? Props to Yui for not just spotting this one halfway up the ladder, but also this one hidden behind that. I'm sure this is some deep representation of Valve's view towards barrels or something. In total, on train I found a grand total of 74 barrels. But that's kind of cheating since 60 of these are in the warm-up areas, and they are five copies of the same place. Like I warned you at the beginning, this video is less a question of how many barrels, and more a matter of what is a barrel. Nuke has 27 in the main level and 15 in the warm-up zones. It also has these big square things which may contain barrels inside, but I didn't count them. Overpass, not including the very sus looking bin models, has 9 barrels in the level itself and 25 in the warm-up regions. Inferno has 56 in the level itself and 2 in each and every warm-up region, making the grand total 66. But the winner? D Cash, sporting an incredible total of 148 barrels, though 115 of these were in the warm-up arenas. So maybe Inferno should be the real winner. So the warm-up arenas are a bit of a grey area, but you know what else is? What about the short versions of these maps? Are these different maps? Let's argue they're not, they're just smaller regions of the same maps. So what about Dust 1, which exists in no other form? I will confess, I may have underestimated this undertaking and what it would do to my sanity. Especially given how clear it is that Valve have intentionally hidden barrels in ridiculous places just to mess with me. I'm onto you Valve, don't try to deny it. If we sort the maps by year, we can see a clear trend, with 2016 being the year of the barrel, and their inclusions have been trailing off since then, aside from this brief resurgence with cash, which wasn't even Valve made in the first place. So this confirms the theory that, for whatever reason, Valve now dislike barrels and are seeking to eradicate them from CSGO. CS gone. But we need more evidence, so I investigated the hostage maps. Since these are typically older than the diffuse maps, I was sure to sweep the whole map, just in case some of the barrels had been made the fake way and not with high quality props. I didn't find any like that, but the totals were intriguing. Of the four Valve made maps, Office had the fewest. Just five of the normal variety, and this one which sat right on the edge of it not being a barrel, because it's kind of like the cones from Vertigo which I didn't allow. But then it also looks kind of like the barrels on Nuke, which I accepted without hesitation. So I'll let this one count, making the total on Office 6. So just to clarify, a barrel is something with a bottom so that it can contain liquid, or nuclear waste. But not rubbish, because that's a bin. 
but nuclear rubbish is fine. I don't know. So with regards to hostage maps, most Valve-made ones have quite a few barrels in them, but then they are quite old. But here's the interesting thing. Of the two newer community-made maps featured in the game, neither has a single barrel. So now Valve aren't even accepting map entries that include barrels. It was at this point that I returned to D-Iris, the latest community-made diffuse map to be featured. And I was reassured to find 23 barrels and oil drums on that map. So maybe there is still some love for our long, hard friends. You've all been so good sitting through this. As a reward, I proudly present to you some barrel facts. If you shoot this sort of barrel, then oil comes out, even if you shoot the very top of it, suggesting that they've bothered to calculate the liquid's expansion from being contained within a hot setting. Or maybe it's just because they're lazy. In the olden days, if you wanted a differently coloured barrel, then you changed the skin number to one, two, or sometimes even more, depending on how many the modeler had bothered to include. But these days, as well as being able to make it whatever size you like, you can also choose whichever colour you like. Whoever said that Source is an old, outdated engine was right. You used to be able to break some kinds of barrels in Source. You could move them about, and they generally behaved a lot more barrelly than they do now. However, I'm pleased I'm not doing this analysis for Source because the map Chateau contains these things, but I'm not sure if they count as barrels or not, based on my incredibly long and vague list of criteria for them that I've made up thus far. And lastly, it's impossible to find a human stood next to a barrel for scale on Google Images that doesn't look utterly ridiculous. Well, that was fun. At this point, I finally did every other map in the game. No, I didn't count Short Nuke as a map, but yes, I did feature Short Dust. Still a bit nostalgic for that one. Of the arms race maps, Monastery with 25 had the most barrels in it. And surprisingly, Baggage had zero, but it did have a lot of baggage. Of the diffuse maps, which aren't really diffuse maps, Short Dust had the most by miles, and Safe House and Hive had zero, proving that it can't really be a place from Deus Ex. Oh, and I found eight of these things hidden beneath the pontoon on Lake. And I saved the best till last. The Danger Zone game mode, being the biggest and most barrel-esque of the lot, featured a surprising range of numbers. Ember had the fewest barrels, just 31 in total. But then maybe that's a sensible choice for an island that's on fire. The map with the most barrels was Black Sight, which had just shy of 250 barrels in total. That's insane. That's almost twice as many as the next most, being Scirocco. Scirocco. Or Cash, if you do include all five warm-up arenas. There's always got to be something, hasn't there? And Vineyard just had to go there, didn't it? It wasn't content with having dozens of regular, easily classified barrels. It just had to go and feature some giant ones too. Do these count? I mean, I included normal kegs on the basis that Wikipedia described them as small barrels. So why would a big barrel be any different? I decided that allowing these would open the floodgates to the grain towers on Militia and the numerous large metal structures on other maps. So no, I'm not going to say that they count. Now for the grand total. Across all of the maps in CSGO, not including Short Nuke, but including Short Dust out of nostalgia, but omitting the warm-up arenas which aren't real places, but allowing this drum despite regretting that a bit now, while omitting these giant kegs despite them being barrels simply because they're too large, while also dismissing these rubbish bins which are the same size and shape as barrels, then it comes to a grand total of 912 barrels. So unless we include the warm-up arenas, reaching a thousand barrels is out of the question. But there are still more barrels out there that we can include. One other map that we've all forgotten about. If Valve was to include disparity in the next operation... Nah, just kidding. I do live in hope though. That's right. I'm talking about the training map. This one has 17 barrels, making the grand total 929 barrels in CSGO's current map pool, but with about 30 asterisks after it. So, next time someone asks you why you're still playing CSGO after all these years, despite Project X being out, despite it not sounding like you're enjoying it, and despite the fact that you really should be working on that project that's due in tomorrow instead, you can say, because it's got lots of barrels in it. You could even say it's got over a thousand, if warm up ruiners count. And that's a lot of barrels. And that's a good thing, because they're nice.